All right, here we are. Another one. We're about to talk a little bit more about them Betty Wright moments and life. But I want you to listen to who I'm playing, Johnny Gill, a quiet time to play. A lot of people don't know that it is a quiet time to play. When you have learned the lessons that the master has given you, you start to get quiet and then you take your turn to play. Some of y'all gonna ask me, well, how do you do that, Kim? It's gonna be phases that you got to walk through. He said, now the work is over. Let the tension fade. It's a quiet time for love. Quiet time to play. Yeah. Let me hold you near me. I ain't too proud to what? Okay, I'm going to turn Johnny off and I'm going to talk to y'all. So this here video is just going to be about the master. So, you know, the master comes in so many different forms. I think about um, the underground. I think about slavery. And I think about the things that happened when you are enslaved to something. When you're trapped. After you find out what the trap is about, you can get free. But you got to identify. This is not an earthly type of identification. This is conscious awareness. Now, the master. The master of the universe will send someone that will be your teacher. You could have many teachers, but the thing about these teachers is that you may not see who the teacher really is because you're looking at them through your earthly vision. So that means that you got to see through spiritual eyes. That means that whatever religion or, um, yeah, whatever religion that you grew up in, you got to get out of religion and get into spirituality so you can see that your children might be the ones that's teaching you. Your husband or your wife might be the teacher. And I just want to call them that are teaching the ones that have mastered some area of their life that has got you trapped. So when you think about trap, it could be love, it could be material, it could be any of the earthly things that you have been connected to and you don't want to lose. That means a man, a woman, you don't want to lose your child and they're going astray, they're having problems. So you lose yourself in them. You don't want to lose your house or the money. You know, like Stella got her groove back, you know, that kind of thing. When you watch these movies, you understand what I'm saying. But the thing is, is that you learn with observation what that master is teaching you. And one of the things is, is that you got to know what they have mastered and what they have not. Because when you realize what they've mastered and what they have not, that's when the tension fades. Now, what do you do during the time of tension? You observe because you're learning. That's what you go to school for. You take notes and you examine what your teacher is showing you. Every time they pull out a book, you read the information because you're going to be tested on it. And if you don't pass the test, you have to go back to the beginning. So, in the exiting of this video, I want to appeal to the masses and let you know that I was laying down here on the floor and the master of the house came to me. That was the name of 
the video and I was talking with some a young lady earlier and um uh, oftentimes we feel like when we went through something and we're able to give something that we've learned everything that we should and so we need to cross that out because anytime pain is involved and you're in pain pain is trying to tell you something it's not always that you need to run or hide or this is you got to find up find out how to level up when i say level up i mean you're humble when you're learning your lesson but as you are learning that lesson, you start leveling up because now you're coming to a season of graduation where that pain has afflicted you. And you're coming out with the information that you need to move further in life, elevated, even evolved with knowledge that that season will not be something that you repeat again wonderful things that we get out of life when we look at life as lessons and so we thank god for the masters that we've had because they mastered in some areas but some they did not as they've mastered in areas so have we sometimes you can put those masteries together and you can make some good alchemist stuff but sometimes people come out bitter and angry because their insecurities begin to show. We've all been there. It's time to heal insecurities. It's time for some people to overcome narcissistic behavior. How would we know about narcissism, by the way? A lot of people will call people out concerning different conditions, diagnoses. But listen, before you went through hell and you became who you are today, humbled and peaceful and loving, I bet you had some narcissistic traits because people was on demand and you could walk away. You could even be silent for weeks and not talk to them. You had these traits, but you just didn't see it until the traits came and they were mirroring you. We've all been there. But when you recognize that something is mirroring you, you got to say, hey, look, Thank you, master, because you mixing up some stuff. Now it's time to let the tension fade, celebrate, and keep it moving. And when I say keep it moving, I'm like, you graduated. Now, if you need any kind of classes, personal development, relationship, natal charts, um, whatever you need, in the areas of learning behaviors and leveling up and insecurities getting you down making you feel like you're nobody your masters they giving you that kind of information or they are just giving you that type of energy i can help you i got some sarahs that can help you we're coming out of a season where we have been feeling trapped and can't do anything we can do all things but you can't do it if you don't have knowledge and wisdom that's what we have to offer. So you email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com and um, we can get started. Now, let me tell you one thing about masters is, is that they always think that they can master you. But there is a season when you've mastered what you needed to learn from them. And God will give you an exit but there will be a lot of changes with the master. So you guys have a wonderful day. I love you. And um, don't ever stop learning. Don't ever stop getting wiser. Because that's what life is about. Consciousness. Feed yourself consciously. And don't allow people to feed you something that you know you are not. Be blessed.